Now, after several days of confusion, a list of around 60 countries that will be exempt from quarantine rules in England has finally been published by the government. The changes will come into effect next Friday. Spain, France, Germany and Italy are all on the list, which means that from July the 10th you won't have to self-isolate visiting these countries or when you return. But for those heading to America, mainland Portugal or Brazil, travellers will still need to quarantine for two weeks on arrival and when returning to the UK. Scotland and Wales are yet to decide whether to ease their travel restrictions and the leaders there have described England's changes as shambolic. Quarantine regulations also remain in place in Northern Ireland for people arriving from outside the UK and the Republic of Ireland. Our transport correspondent Tom Burridge has more. Should you or shouldn't you travel abroad? Now there is clarity that anyone heading off on the Eurotunnel won't have to quarantine in either direction. It'll make a tremendous difference. We were over there recently, we came back and we had to quarantine for two weeks. I'm going to go down to Paris today. Um, I'm working down there, so um, the quarantine relaxing is big for me because obviously I'm back in work. Soon, people arriving from 59 countries and 14 British overseas territories won't have to self-isolate, although half those countries have restrictions when you arrive there. For those desperate to sell holidays abroad, it's a rare piece of good news. Customers that I've spoken to, they're like, oh yeah, we'd be happy just to go on a flight to Spain. Um, it doesn't have to be that far, it's just that getting away and going on holiday that customers are wanting. In a week's time, if you travel to low-risk European countries like Spain, Italy, France and Germany, you won't have to self-isolate in either direction. Greece is also on the list, although the Greek government won't allow UK holidaymakers in until at least July the 15th. Countries like the United States, Brazil and more controversially mainland Portugal are not on the list of exemptions. Portugal's foreign minister said that was absurd. It means Emma has cancelled her holiday. I'm really disappointed not to be going to Portugal anymore. I was due to fly on Friday with a couple of friends to visit another friend who lives there. We go every year. Um, and I've been tracking the news, knew there was a spike in Lisbon last week, but thought, you know, maybe there is still a chance that we'll be able to go. Getting the policy to this point hasn't been a smooth ride. The near blanket travel quarantine has put people off booking summer holidays. It's been deeply unpopular with struggling travel businesses. And as the government's tried to relax the quarantine, there's been real confusion. And how that's going to work. The Prime Actually, Minister defended the way it's been handled. Alex, we've always said that we would have a, a strong quarantine uh, regime in place and that's what we are going to have for large numbers of countries ar around the world where I'm afraid the disease is, is still prevalent or indeed uh, becoming more prevalent. But there's an added complication because the devolved governments in Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland want more time to decide if they will follow the UK government's new list of exemptions. When so much is at stake as it is right now, we can't allow ourselves to be dragged along in the wake of another government's, to be quite frank about it, shambolic decision-making process. Heading off to Malaga today on the first flight from Cardiff since lockdown began. Aviation companies have shared tens of thousands of jobs. A month-long blanket quarantine didn't help. Tom Burridge, BBC News.